In today's video, I am going to talk about another viral infection dengue and I will make a comparison with COVID-19 which is also a viral infection. I will talk how it occurs, primary and secondary infection, symptoms, treatment, whether vaccines are available. Like COVID-19, dengue is a viral infection. However, the mode of spread of dengue is different from COVID-19. COVID-19 is a respiratory viral infection where it spreads from one person to the other through respiratory droplets from mouth and nose while coughing, sneezing or talking. But dengue is a mosquito-borne disease, that is, the mode of transmission is mosquito. When a mosquito bites an infected person, it carries the dengue virus with it and then when it bites the healthy person, the virus gets injected inside that healthy person and that person becomes infected. Dengue can be caused by four related virus, dengue virus 1, dengue virus 2, dengue virus 3 and dengue virus 4. In case of COVID-19, which is pretty new, we know that it is caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus. Different variants are emerging, but still it's a single virus, SARS-CoV-2 virus. In case of dengue, the first infection is called primary infection, which is generally mild in most cases, but can be severe in some cases. This primary infection develops antibody against a particular dengue virus only. For example, if a person is infected with dengue virus 1, it will develop antibody against dengue virus 1 only. Now, if in the next time another infection that is secondary infection occurs with dengue virus 2, it does not get any protection from the first infection. Rather, the secondary infection becomes more severe due to antibody dependent enhancement. So, the secondary infections of dengue are more severe. Let's talk in brief about antibody dependent enhancement. As the name suggests, there is an enhancement which is dependent on the antibody. Basically, what happens, the antibody developed from primary infection instead of stopping the virus from entering our cell and thus more virus are produced which results in severe dengue. In case of COVID-19, which is a very new disease, till date there is no data on antibody dependent enhancement. Once infected, the antibody imparts protection from different variants but of course to a much lesser extent. Let's now see the signs and symptoms of dengue and COVID-19. In case of dengue, the most common symptom is fever which can be followed by eye pain, muscle pain, bone pain, nausea, vomiting, rash, diarrhea or mild bleeding. In case of COVID-19, there are a lot of symptoms like fever, chills, dry cough, shortness of breath, muscle pain or body pain, headache, loss of taste or smell, sore throat, congestion, nausea, diarrhea. Loss of taste or smell is found more in COVID-19 and not in dengue. Diarrhea is more common in dengue compared to COVID-19. Dry cough, shortness of breath is more common in COVID-19 compared to dengue. Mild bleeding is found in dengue and not in COVID-19. In case of COVID-19, symptoms appear 2-14 to 14 days after exposure to the virus. In case of dengue, symptoms appear 3-14 to 14 days after being infected with the virus. There are some warning signs for COVID-19 and dengue. Symptoms of severe dengue begin 24-48 to 48 hours after fever has gone away. They are stomach ache, vomiting, bleeding from nose or gum, blood in vomit or stool, feeling tired, restlessness or irritable. If anyone develops these symptoms, please seek medical help as soon as possible. In case of COVID-19, the emergency warning signs are trouble in breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, confusion, inability to wake up or stay awake, pale grey or blue colored skin, lips or nails. Please seek doctor help if you have any of these symptoms. So, how to prevent? In case of dengue, prevent mosquito bites that will prevent you from dengue infection. Wear full sleeves and full trousers if you are in a dengue prone area and you should not have clean but stagnant water near your home. Use mosquito nets when necessary. In case of COVID-19, by now we all know that we have to wear masks, maintain physical distance, avoid gatherings, and in both cases, personal hygiene is very, very important. What are the treatment options? 
there are no particular treatment for dengue or COVID-19. All treatments are given to reduce the symptoms. In case of dengue, paracetamol is given to control fever and pain. Please do not use aspirin or ibuprofen. Drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. Drink water and drinks with added electrolytes. In case of COVID-19, research is ongoing. Paracetamol is given to control fever pain. Depending on your condition, other drugs like steroids, ivermectin, remdesivir can be given. But it is for the doctor to decide what medication is required for you. Please don't have self-medication. Dengue virus can be transmitted from the mother to the fetus. In case of COVID-19, it is unclear whether virus can be transmitted from the mother to the fetus. But there are evidences which say that transmission from mother to fetus is possible. Vaccine to prevent dengue is called dengue vaccia and it is available in some countries for people aged between 9 to 45. According to WHO rule, dengue vaccine is only given to person with confirmed previous dengue virus infection. The vaccine manufacturer in 2017 announced that people who have received dengue virus but do not have any prior dengue infection may develop severe dengue if they have dengue after vaccination. So, dengue vaccine is not very popular till date. For COVID-19, you all know that there are different kind of vaccines like mRNA vaccine, adenovirus vector vaccine, inactivated viral vaccine, subunit protein vaccine, DNA vaccine. However, lot more research and data will tell us which vaccine is suitable and whether we need boosters. That's it for today guys. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more updates. Thank you.